Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga, I'm Ali and today we're going to be doing a requested flow, a flow with no wrists and shoulders, no arms at all, but it is going to kick your ass and really prepare you for the festive indulgent <laughs> evening that you may have on New Year's. So whether you're preparing for a new chapter in your life, a new year, a new season, a new beginning, it is good to put a good closure, a good ending to, uh, to that old chapter. So that's what we're going to do today. And I'm going to kick your ass, <laughs> let's just say it. But yes, this is going to happen. So breathe and remember to flow with strength and ease. Bring your hands over the heart. Pull the belly in, just a slight tuck in the tailbone. And begin to shift your awareness to your breath. You can shift also your weight slightly back. So stacking the joints over the ankles and kind of feeling almost as if you're leaning backwards, but drawing the belly in so that you're being held together and not tipping back open the chest relax the shoulders and become aware of your body closing the eyes and becoming aware of how the body feels and if it's open or if there is shut down areas restricted flow open flow breathe into the areas that need a lot of prana brought in there Let's open the eyes, step the feet at about mat weight. Apart and we're going to bend the knees back, just half a squat side to side and bring in the arms into the mouth, feeling the rib cage, feeling the sides of the body. Breathe. All right, step a little wider on the outsides of the mat. Take a little squat. You don't have to go deep here because we're just starting. And just move side to side, engaging the core here so you can also reach with your hand, just explore the body, explore the joints, the muscles, how the body feels. Feeling because in movement we can bring more awareness to certain areas of the body, feel the body. Close your eyes, keep moving here. Imagine your body is condensed energy, that is all it is. It is physical to the naked eye but it is condensed energy and just feel feel it from that perspective as energy moving also energy that is hosting the finer energy that is your soul and they're both interlaced interconnected one Keep moving. Let's bring the hands over the head in a 
kind of handshake and clasp and just bring gentle circles above the head. Great, reaching side to side here, really exploring the rib cage. All right, drop the shoulders or drop the shoulders back and down the hands by the body and we're going to do a few shoulder rolls. reversing the direction you can even roll them alternating left and right great let's swing the arms freely little bent in the knees looking behind you. And from here, we're going to step the feet either hip width apart or just big toes touching, heels slightly apart so that the outer edges of the feet are somewhat parallel without getting too technical. Inhale the hands over the head, reaching up. Exhale the hands over the heart, bringing your attention, intention into the heart area. Attention and intention, bringing your awareness into the heart area and taking a quick moment, timeless moment to create an intention for the class, something personal, it can be detailed, it can be very specific about your day, about your week, about smaller things, maybe even detailed things. All right, inhale deep into the belly, open the eyes, find a spot about the horizon level to gaze at and soften the gaze, soften your eyes as if you're just gazing within but looking outward, shifting the gaze inward as you're looking out with this calm connection to an external point outside of us, outside of the body, at the same time feeling the feedback of the body, feeling the position of the body in space, we're gonna begin to flow. <sighs> Bending the knees, chair. And chest parallel to the floor, uh, just a gentle bend in the knees here, forming an L, reverse L letter here and shifting the weight onto the right leg, take the left leg behind, you can bring the left hand down on the floor and the right hand in front of you, keep lifting, good, hands over the heart, come up to standing, pull the belly in and step back in high lunge. Hands in prayer twist. You can, as a first twist, you can um, ease your way into the twist and bring the left hand on the floor or you can start going in the deeper twist, however your body feels, inhale lift and back to warrior three. Step it back, upside down L letter, shifting the weight onto 
the left leg take the right leg up and when you're ready right hand on the floor and you can bring the left one ahead of you coming up to standing we're gonna transition into high lunge warrior three one more time chair exhale forward fold shake your head chair inhale reach over the head or reach over the heart let's shift the weight onto the left leg this time warrior three high lunge warrior three i'm halfway up and going to cross back lunge warrior three Fire up the glutes here and keep the belly firm. Back lunge, warrior three. Cross back lunge, warrior three. Level the hips. Back lunge, pull the belly in, warrior three. Cross, warrior three. Back, warrior three half warrior three back lunge warrior three back and cross let's do a couple more focus on your form here it's a deadlift form or feel or type of move so you want to perform it with that precision last one Going to the cross lunge from Moriarty. Pose it here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Coming up. Here you're going to bend the left knee, stepping on the left foot. Gently open that right hip and lower down into half moon. Great. From half moon, we're going to go up and back into warrior two. Hold it. engaging the right leg feel the pose here shift shift with your body so you're going to explore your pelvis pelvic alignment here hip alignment reaching back and back to warrior two you can straighten the lead knee bend the back knee step to the front chair shifting the weight onto the right leg let's take warrior three here and back lunge warrior three really important here to feel the glutes working and the core working 
cross back lunge and I like to bring a little bit of a reach to the right here just a tiny bit so that I feel that deeper stretch warrior three back lunge warrior three cross back warrior three back lunge warrior three cross warrior three back 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 warrior three cross post it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and here we're going to step onto the right leg bend the knees open open the left hip and lower the right hand and just work your way into this pose lifting out of it and stepping back in warrior two feel your hips here and breathe inhale open You can straighten the lead knee, bend the back knee, and step to the front. All right, come into a low squat here, hands in prayer. release sit back and we're going to do bicycle standing bicycle bicycle with the chest open so let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten bend the knees come up in a squat if you want to help yourself with your hands do that and we're gonna go jump one two three four five six seven eight nine ten lower down straighten the back really straighten the back if you want to drag your <laughs> glide let's be graceful glide the heels on the floor you can do that one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and jumping one you can keep it low that's of course depending on your joint health and preference when you keep it low this is well within the normal range of motion of a human being so that's why i recommend it if you can keep your range of motion nine ten and bicycles when i first started with fitness and gym and all that the common recommendation was no 
knees, no hips underneath the knee level in squats. Now things have changed to understand anatomy even more. So jumps one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more bicycles, keep it going. Straighten the back. One, <clears throat> two. Now you can do that, keep the heels down and really pull through the belly. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bicycles, elevated bicycles, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're gonna go again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hopefully you're feeling the burn here in the quads and glutes and core. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Open the feet out, stretch it, stretch it out. Squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna keep going. One, two, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is a solid, steady cardio, nothing crazy. Keep it going, keep breathing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, squeeze the body, nine. 10, oh. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do one more. Set one, two. The reason why I like the heels on the floor is we're not over exercising the hip flexors. You don't want to do that here and there. It's okay, but we're doing many reps here. So, kind of like this, engaging the core and kind of not over engaging the hip flexors. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Chair pose, hands in prayer, shift onto the right leg, warrior three, 
left hand on the floor, right arm up, revolving half moon, bend the right knee, step it back, revolving triangle pose, extend it, extend it, side bend, Shift onto the right leg, lift the left leg parallel to the floor, level the hips, pose the heel a few times. You don't have to hold the floor. You can tap it, you can have your hands in prayer. Pose one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Chair. Warrior three on the left leg. Right hand on the floor, left arm up. I'm getting better at having a wall in front of my face in this pose. It's quite challenging. And step it back, revolving triangle. Lower the chest over. Shift forward onto the left leg. Let's take the right leg parallel to the floor. Either hands on the ground for support or in prayer. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Chair. Hopefully everything is burning. And for me, I can tell that my tights are a little tighter because <laughs> The muscles are swelling. So, next interval, take a big breath in. We're going to go for the snowboarders. Left hand on the outside of the left foot. One, two, three, push the booty back. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And here, if you're not using your hands, you can just lower down on the side, side crunches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and come up and we're gonna go right hand on the outside of the right foot one two three four five six seven eight nine ten lower down however it works for you there's different ways to safely lower down one crunch on the other side make sure three four five six seven eight nine ten same thing you can get up in whichever way you want left hand on the outside of the left Foot one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Side crunches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, and step it out. Right hand on the outside of the right foot. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower down. These are my first intervals in two months due to shooting a beginner program. So <clears throat> I'm relying on past memory. See, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I've forgotten the bliss of intervals. All right. No, we're not done. <laughs> left hand on the outside of the left foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, lower down on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Get up quickly. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower down. So crunches. One, two, Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower down. One. state of mind ten lower down let's go one two three four five six seven Nine, ten, keep it going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, lower down. One, two, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Get up quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, lower down. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Get up. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Was this proper? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And <laughs> and get up. All right, you can rest in yoga squat for one second. Uh, the, yes, I'm laughing because I've forgotten the most elevating properties of intervals. This is lazy alley in front of you. I've been just kind of chilling the last two months. Lots of power yoga, which is strong, but no intervals. Lots of beginner classes that you'll see in January. 30 day challenge. All right. From here, straighten the legs, bend the knees, wrap your wrists around your elbows, hang in, hang in there. <laughs> that is the plan. All right. Chest parallel to the floor, hands on the thighs, come up with a straight back. Inhale, reaching over the head, arch, hands over the heart, shifting the weight onto the right leg. Breathe. High lunge. Long jump. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower down however you want to. I'm gonna grab my foot with both hands, yogi clasp, maybe straighten the leg, lower down, sit back, lay down, and we're going to keep the left leg lifted, lower back on the ground, one, two, three, with the exhalation through the mouth, the Pilates, 100. Pull the belly in and mula banda in. And roll back up to your feet. Reverse. Elbows, pull the belly in, warrior three. Step it back, high lunge. Lunge jumps, one, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Grab your foot, or you can lower down in whichever way you want. <laughs> lower down, pull the belly in, 
really make this count press the lower back down Roll to a seated Sukhasana. You can grab the flesh over the bones and roll it out just like a firm massage, not, not Swedish massage, I think she has a deep tissue, something a little more with a firm grip, more digging in. It shouldn't be pain per se, but giving it a firm outer roll. Great, let's stretch side to side, side to side, and stand up. Squat to chair squat. All right, step the right foot back in warrior two step it a little further out let's see if i can stick it better here reverse it straighten the legs take a plie hands over the heart and belly, breathe, change your warrior two, right leg leading, reverse it, plie, let's bring both hands over, over the belly, without touching the belly and without the hands touching each other, just hold the energy in this area. Lower belly, so we're second, second chakra-ish level. My legs are starting to shake, which is an interesting situation given what we've done. All right, step to the front, hands over the heart, Straight back, forward fold. <sighs> Sit back, soles of the feet together. A little bit of a stretch here, inner thigh stretching. <sighs> From here, we're going to sit between the thighs let's give this area a good stretch now feel free if this is not a very flexible area for you feel free to sit on a block on a blanket to elevate your body on a few books feel free to sit up you can lean back onto your elbows or don't and if you do lean back keep your knees about hip width apart, they should be pointing out. Don't let them open. If you're letting them open, you're going a little too far for your body. So scale back. Feel your limitations and honor them. Lower down, knees down. Tuck the tailbone under. You can bring your hands over the heart and create an intention to always honor your body and put your body's needs first before your ego needs. Sometimes the ego needs fancy poses and deep flexibility, but your body and your soul, neither one of them care for that. 
we don't need yoga, we don't need fun, we don't need cardio, we don't need to feel alive. But within, within humble limitations, it's the whole balance of being in our comfort zone, stepping outside of it and walking that thin line between the two and always finding the balance and the forgiveness, the self-forgiveness. the self-acceptance coming up and hands over the heart we're gonna go to everybody's favorite or 60 percent of you favorite pigeon right like leading open here and lower down <laughs> Soften the breath. The glutes and the legs are really the largest muscles in the body, so we we did get a big burn going for for the holiday festivities later. And we gave the hands and shoulders a rest, even if they're not, if you're not necessarily looking for shoulder rest, you can rest and then <laughs> make extra food in the evening. With the rested arms. Exhaling through the hip. Inhale coming up. I will give you a shoulder free uh, way to come out of this. Feel free to go back to down dog if you prefer that way. But you can just spin your back leg, left leg back and around, and the right one back, around and back. Lengthen here and lower down. good moment to just quiet down here and make a promise for yourself for the coming next period of our life next year next season next whatever it is next decade to honor your body to have forgiveness for yourself and acceptance Guilt generally is a self-fulfilling cycle. It feeds into more behaviors that lead up to guilt. So finding forgiveness, acceptance is fabulous. I was listening to a really good lecture by Gabor Mate. If you feel like listening to something, find it on uh, YouTube, TED. I think it was a TED talk beautiful lecture and also his advice to his younger self he's a canadian hungarian jewish canadian um, psychologist that was born in 44 in hungary to a jewish family so 
So one of the things that he told his younger self or wish he could have told his younger self, first of all, to let life come to you. Don't, don't be so eager, don't be so anxious. Uh, let life unfold, let life come to you. But also, it's not your fault. Don't feel guilty, it's really not your fault. Uh, and that's really, it's, it's profound in its simplicity to understand life from a very simple, loving place. So let's make an intention to be very forgiving towards ourselves in the coming year, era, season, day. Coming up, open and just come out of this safely, lower down onto your back, give yourself a hug, knees into the chest, relax. We did joyously celebrate life with all the jumping and now there is no striving in this pose, which is something we can take into our life. Not to become completely lax or soft, but to have the balance of knowing when to just chill, not strive, let things flow to you. Don't try to chase everything, but allowing life to flow to you, towards you, into you, which is attraction. Let's bring the legs onto the floor bridge. If that's too much on your shoulders, then just lay Exhale, lower down, soles of the feet together. You can lift your legs, happy baby. The pine twist, cross the right knee over the left. Drop the legs to your left. Opposite side. Coming out, rock it out. Sit. Extend the legs in front, forward fold, just a mild bend in the knees here. Open the legs out, forward fold. Let's bend over the right leg, over the left, right, left, 
one more time left center coming back up bend the knees bring them in front of you hands behind this is very optional again if it's if you're not sure you can skip it it does involve a little bit of a shoulder bringing the hands behind it is a spinal twist but just listen to your body that is the whole message of yoga and we're going to come up to standing forward bend inhale coming all the way up to standing hands over the third eye close your eyes inhale through the third eye over the lips over the heart And let's bow to our hearts for their forgiveness, compassion, generosity, and love. Namaste. Thank you all for joining me today for this class. It was a pleasure for me to be here with you. And remember to share this class with your friends or whoever you think might benefit from it because sharing and liking and subscribing is the best way to support my message and to support this channel and let me know what you would like to see next for our classes what kind of theme i will talk to you soon namaste and remember to flow with strength and ease